Hello friends from Travis Park United Methodist Church. I'm Robert Schnazy and I serve as Bishop of the Rio Texas Conference. And it's just a privilege for me to be able to share some words on this kind of momentous Sunday as you prepare to move into a little bit different space temporarily as you take on this big and bold and audacious project for the future. There is um, there's such a long history, rich history of Travis Park Church. For over 175 years, this church has been uh, just one of the, the cornerstones of downtown San Antonio. And it has, uh, the, 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 your church has, you know, indirectly and directly affected the lives of not just thousands of people and tens of thousands of people, but literally hundreds of thousands of people over those, uh, over those years. So, uh, so it's a privilege to be able to offer greetings. I'm uh, standing in front of, uh, of a photograph taken in 1921 when the West Texas Conference, one of our predecessors of the Rio Texas Conference, held its meeting at Travis Park Church. And you'll see Travis Park Methodist Church, and it has temporary home, and then it has the members of the annual conference. And that's, that's, such, a, that's such a quaint picture looking at it now, and all the changes that the church has gone through since that time. Travis Park means a lot to me as well. My earliest memories was as a 14-year-old attending annual conference sessions and worship sessions at Travis Park. And, uh, and it was at that time probably the largest church I've ever stepped into. And just to, just to hear the singing, to, to, to witness the communion services, people of all different sorts and backgrounds walked by to share in the body of Christ. It, it, it just opened up the world to me of what, what this Methodist movement is about. But, uh, but then later, it was at Travis Park United Methodist Church in 1981 that I was ordained. And I was one of several generations of pastors who were ordained at Travis Park Church. And, that's, uh, and, and that, that extended for decades there. And so many people trace their spiritual roots there. I, um, I know that this is going to be an inconvenience, but I just appreciate you leaning into the future I, I appreciate the leadership, the generosity, and the vision that this represents, and I pray God's blessing upon every one of you.